Hey, look at us. We are out of bed. We are hey. off the couch. We are back outside. We're getting some fresh air. This is beautiful. So today we're going to ease in very slowly. Ooh. We're going to ease in very slowly. <laughs> no, stop it. Don't be creepy. <laughs> I'm going to try to find a different way to word that so Jeremy stops with, Ooh. stop doing that. <laughs> We're going to do some odds and end jobs. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say something. I just <laughs> so today we are focused on getting the odds and ends jobs done that we needed to get done before our man lift arrives. There's a lot that needs to happen. We're going to take full advantage of having that thing here rented for a week to be on the property. Yeah, so, I think a week. Yeah, we're going to do a lot to make sure that we're maximizing... It was a fly. Our efforts here. Which is important. We're a little out of practice when it comes to making <laughs> videos at this point because it has been so long. Anywho. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. Jeremy is switching out the blades on his chop saw and I, once again, will be staining tongued soffit boards. We've got about 25 more to do. Today I'm just going to get the top done and then tomorrow I'll flip them and do the other side but we've got to get going on these soffits so we want to make sure we have a fresh blade and all of our pieces ready to go. Don't play frisbee? <laughs> you have a weird sense of humor. It's super safe. Come on. I'm really starting to second guess all this tugging groove we have planned for this house. What? Because this takes forever. It's going to look nice. It's going to look nice. Maybe we should just carpet the whole thing. Ceiling, everything is carpet. Yellow leaf fall like helicopter planes. Yellow leaf fall. Yellow leaf fall. Well, Melissa keeps working back here. Let's take you guys outside and go over the plan here with our soffit material. There are only a few sections of the soffit that's actually gonna be functioning and uh, vented. Despite that, we're gonna be taking that six inch tongue and groove pine board that we're using for the soffits, and we're gonna be running it around the entire perimeter of our roof. Does it have to be done? No, I just think it'll look a lot nicer and uh, we're not trying to skimp on anything around here. We want it to look good. So we're gonna take it and run it up, down, and all the way around. How you holding up? Fine. I'm gonna go outside and take both those brackets. Okay, okay. The kids and I did most of the brackets while Jeremy was down, but those top ones that he's doing right now, it was way too chicken to get on the ladder and uh, climb up there by myself. So we're gonna let Jeremy do that part. And then once our brackets are all taped off, we'll be ready to spray a nice wood cleaner on this truss. So a lot of oil and grease and stuff from the mill and just when they were made, it's starting to work its way out. And so we're getting some kind of graying and, and some lines that you can see up there that we don't want to stain into our truss. So we're gonna put a cleaner on there, rinse it off, and then hopefully our truss will come out nice and clean and we can stain it. I am the pebble, then thou art the stream. If I am the sapling, then thou art the beam. that our truss is all taped off, we're going to try a little section. I don't think we're gonna have time to finish the whole truss because we unfortunately don't have the lift yet. So we're just going to try this and kind of see if this cleaner actually even works and how hard we have to scrub it and uh, see what we're getting ourselves into. But Jeremy has told me that I need to pump the sprayer. So, you know, with all my butter churning experience here. Hey, 
What do you got? A well, that's as, that's as big as you. What are you gonna do with that giant zucchini? Mm -hmm. What do you have, Kira? Carrot. A pink carrot too. They're yeah, very, very. You guys gonna go take them in and wash them? Okay. All right. We'll cook them up for dinner. <laughs> Our mountain looks like Cookie Monster. Well, here goes nothing. Let's see how this looks. So I diluted this one to one on the product with water and a few areas where we had stains here in this little teth swath. This stuff looks great. It's unbelievable, it just kind of rubs the uh, staining away. So, I'm satisfied, what do you think? I think it looks awesome. I like it. But I think it's gonna be a big job. I don't think we need to scrub the whole thing. We'll just screen, uh, scrub the... Yeah, like can stains only. that center piece has a lot of it. All right, Mama, there it is. What do you think? I think it looks good. It looks brand new. I mean, it is brand new, but now it looks like brand new wood. So we know the cleaner works. We're really excited about that. We have not gotten our lift yet. We are really crossing our fingers that it actually shows up and we have it for tomorrow. Otherwise, we're going to be using extension ladders to get this entire truss all scrubbed up and clean. Our goal is to have it clean no matter what tomorrow. So we've got everything all set up. We'll be ready to go in the morning. And we're gonna do the truss, all the beams. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot of work. It is gonna be a lot of work. We've got that big ridge beam as well. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot. More importantly, how do you feel the day <laughs> went energy wise? Um, energy wise, I give us like a, like a C minus. C minus? You're generous. Production wise, I give us like a D plus. <laughs> we didn't get very much done today, but we were out here. We were working. We did get some things done. Yeah, we're doing what we can. We yeah. are definitely not at 100% as far as no. the energy level goes, though. It's just, I don't know, it's hard. It's, yeah. it's, it's not going away. I, <laughs> I, I feel better. Yeah. And Melissa feels better. Yeah. But it's just, it's not the same. It might take no. us a while for us to get back to full strength. I know. It's very, very frustrating because normally you're sick and then you just feel better and you can get going. That's this not how is, this goes. This is like climbing out of a hole. So I am glad that we got out here today. We are going to be out here tomorrow, but I think for today so that we are able to get out here tomorrow. We're going to rest now. Well, we didn't get very much done, but that little piece there looks good. It looks good. It looks sexy. <laughs> yeah. Like the whole thing is just giving you a little taste, a little peek. Like that? Ooh. Like that? <laughs> huh? You like that, boys? Yeah, that leg looks good, right? It does. You like it. It's a flirty house. It is day two and Melissa is continuing to do her thing with getting all of these pine boards stained. And while she's doing that, I'm going to head back outside. I'm going to try to get all of that wood cleaner across all of the front truss outside as well as the beams, all that. So it's a little windy out there. We're going to do what we can and see how it turns out. All right, guys, this post dried up overnight and it looks amazing. It looks great. There's a very clear line between where it is. I got everything soaked and scrubbed down and you see up above that line, we still have a bunch of staining that needs to get cleaned up here today so we'll go ahead and take care of that i'm looking forward to it because i think it's going to really brighten things up this wood is really starting to look pretty dingy so it'll look uh look real nice by the end of the day hopefully Face. Did you get it in your eyes? Let me get my eyes. It's just blowing right back at me. You need goggles. And a snorkel. And a helmet. And flippers. I know these winding roads will lead me home to you.
do you think? It's good. It's amazing how it gets the stains out. Yeah. It's real good. Nice and bright once again. Nice. All right. Well, now you only have the other side and the whole front to do, and then the ridge beam. <laughs> You miss a spot Where? right there at the top. Yeah, right there. Let's grab it the other way. <laughs> Not diagonal. <laughs> I still see it. I do. Jeremy is doing a wonderful job out there. And I'm hiding in here, eating jalapeno chips. So, I understand that those aren't very healthy, but I have this weird thing about eating spicy foods right now because I can't taste anything. So, I've eaten a lot of these, and I don't even have like a sensation of spice or anything. It's just nothing. It's kind of like eating crunchy sand. This whole no taste, no smell thing has really taken the joy out of food. So I don't know how long it lasts, but I'm really looking forward to it being over. I don't even want to eat any of the good snacks because it's a total waste of food. You are doing a fabulous job. Do you want me to take over? Really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know you were going to say yes, but okay. <laughs> Show us how it's done. You poop on those what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <Nothing>. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's going to dry up like free Willy. It's got to stay wet. <laughs> you can't let Willy dry out, Melissa. <laughs> you know this. <laughs> Is that your sad dorsal fin? <laughs> Because you're in captivity. <laughs> oh no. What are we doing out here? <laughs> it's wrong. It's all wrong. It's too vigorous. Also. No, you're going to start a fire. Wow, who scrubbed that one? It looks so good. I did like 90% of it. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> Yeah, but that last 10% looks really good. The last 10% of effort. <laughs> we took a long break so we could get some lunch, get some food up in us, and uh, rest and room. At least I did anyway, because I, I can't needed. Taste anything. I needed the energy. Yeah, we're all screwed up. Our sense of smell and taste is really messed up. Can right you now. taste now? A little bit. It's still oh. screwed up. While we were inside, the truss and the beams and everything out here started to dry out. You can see we still have some moisture in some of the cracks, but it looks really good. We came back out and we were commenting on how it looks yeah. brand new. It's like fresh. Yeah, it's wood. really bright. So we need to definitely get some stain on that this week ASAP so that we don't have any more issues with it. It's on the agenda, yep. but um, we need to go back inside now and get the other side of this truss done. It's pretty gunked up and stained, so I'm gonna let Melissa do all the scrubbing, get right. that thing cleaned out. and. Uh, I hope you impress me. <laughs> I hope you impress me. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 Don't aim it at me. Okay. Hey, go, 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 go. Okay, final rinse. Okay, it's done. And uh, that took a lot longer than I originally anticipated, but it looks great. Turned out fresh and clean. Yeah, it's just nice to have a big thing that was on our list 
checked off. So now we can, now we're actually ready to get everything stained because we have to have our fascia and our truss and our posts and beams, all of that stained before our siding package. Well, not before it arrives, but before we can start putting it on. Yeah, and our man lift still isn't here yet. And all the work that we have planned for this week kind of revolves around that showing up. So yeah, hopefully the owner of that <laughs> lift pulls through and gets that thing up here because we really need it. And there's so much to be done. Yeah. We were talking about how now we're working our way into fall. And so the pressure is really ramped up on us to get a lot of these outdoor projects, especially completed before mm -hmm. um, freezing temperatures, snow starts falling and all that. Yeah, yeah, fall is uh, in the air for sure. This week has been really cool, and I know that it's just unseasonably cool, but in the mornings now, it's damp. It just feels different. There's, there's, fall is in the air. So it's a reminder that we did get a little behind. I mean, we were feeling like we were ahead of schedule before all of this mess happened, and now we're feeling like we're definitely getting behind. And so there's a lot of pressure on us to get this house totally dried in and start getting all the siding up. We'll do what we can and we'll yep. see how far we get and uh, hopefully we won't get snow in September like we did last year. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh gosh. Yeah, that would uh, that would hurry things along a little bit. But yeah, really it just feels good to be out here again though. I mean, we were locked inside for so long and just sitting there not being productive. And so just being out in the fresh air and just making progress, it's good. What it's little good. progress we have made. Actually, that's not yeah. a little progress. That's a lot of progress. Lot this of job, progress. like I said, did not go quick, and the reason for that is because we have a lot of, we have a lot of wood. We have a lot of, <laughs> we have a lot of timber that needs to be dealt with, and uh, it's it's no small or easy task. A lot of wood. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're back, not at a hundred percent but we're out here and we're working. I'm the kind of person who likes to go full speed. So to have to walk in the middle of this marathon takes some getting used to. You still have so much to do out here. Yup. Wanna start this office? Yeah, probably should. But that's been the beauty of living out here. Nature. And nature truly is the best teacher. If you've ever watched a garden grow, it's slow, steady, daily progress. And in the end, all is accomplished. We'll get back to where we were, but right now, we walk. Because if nature has taught us anything, it's that productivity is not measured by speed. Sometimes, the most productive thing that we can do is slow down and adopt a spirit of patience so that in the end, we'll have the endurance that we need to finish our race. 